Merry Christmas. Yes, again, it's that time for Advent presents and the celebration of the solstice. Wait, what? Well, to be fair, Christmas has very much become a secular holiday. Advent calendars don't actually represent Advent because the manufacturers of the calendars were a bit like, damn, changing these bloody moulds every year is a bit pricey, so I decided to make them always start on the 1st of December. This could really be seen as the transformation of a pagan festival sung by Christian tradition into a secular holiday. Advent actually starts on the fourth Sunday before Christmas, which this year was November the 28th. We have pine trees because of a German tradition, which became widespread in the UK during the reign of Queen Victoria. With all this talk of the baby Jesus, you could be forgiven for thinking that the Jesus figure of the Bible was born on this day, but alas, no, there is no evidence that this date holds any relevance for that figure. Like much of Christianity, this festival is probably pretty much borrowed from the celebrations that various groups of people that exist in the Middle East and Southern Roman Empire during the Iron Age celebrated. The solstice falls close by, and pagan celebrations of this could easily run on to the 25th, given that that would be the fifth day of celebration. The ancient Roman festival Brumalia, honouring Bacchus, the god of, suitably enough given modern society's treatment of the holiday period, wine and intoxication, was held on the 25th of December. The Roman Emperor Elagabalus introduced the festival of the birth of the unconquered sun to be celebrated on December the 25th. Moreover, early Christian writers not only didn't mention any date of Jesus' birth, but even, in the case of Origen of Alexandria, mocked people who celebrated birth anniversaries, condemning them as pagan practices. How we will be confused about modern Christianity celebrating Christmas. The date was probably an absorption of the date for pagan festivities, hoping to pull pagans into the young religion of Christianity. But, as it is, I, as an atheist, do not wince at the words Merry Christmas. It does not rob me up the wrong way. I don't care the expression is that rather than happy holidays or season's greetings. Nor do I care if those terms are used. Those are, of course, more inclusive terms, given that there are other holiday celebrations that fall around this time of year, and Christians bleating on about the alternative terms being used should shut up, for goodness sake. There are other people in the world apart from you, with different cultures, religion and festivities, and that should be respected. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Joyous Kwanzaa, a retroactive Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy Ma Makar Sankranti, Celtic Midwinter, Hogmanay, Sui Elder, Kalida, Mama's Day, Kronia, Yule, Zagmuk, Sol Invictus Day, Rende, Dongzai Festival, Brumalia, Baiwi Festival, Intiremi, Sui Alangmul, Guru, Udu Vapapoya Festival, Festivus, Shabashala, Zoe Masafetki Day, Lucy Night.